Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to my channel and to our coffee times together. And in today's video, we're going to talk about some trilogies or book series that I plan to continue in 2020. It's coffee time! So we all know these. We start, you know, duologies, trilogies, series. And then a couple of years pass and you're like, oh yeah, I still have to read the second book or the third book for that. And I hope to get to it. And then another year passes <laughs> and then you start forgetting that first book. You get me, we've all been there. You've been there, I've been there. We know how it feels like and it is very crappy. So I do have a couple of, you know, duologies, trilogies and book series that I started that I still need to continue. So I'm making this video to force myself to do that. And I'm here to let you know all of the things that I need to continue reading in 2020. First of all, I'm gonna talk to you about two spooky middle grades that I should finish. And the first one is actually the second book on a series and it is called Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. I read the first one, City of Ghosts, and really enjoyed it. And it is about this girl that um, she can kind of cross the veil between the world of the living and the dead. And so she can see ghosts. And it is really entertaining to me. I really like it. I like the spookiness of it. And I really like the main character. So I would like to continue the series and read a book too. And the other one is actually a middle grade as well that it is the third and final book on a trilogy so I really want to finish that trilogy that I really enjoyed and that is Nightmares uh, by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller this is book three which is called The Lost Lullaby and I really enjoyed this book we're following the story of this kid that is having trouble to accept his new um, you know stepmom and they go to live to the house that belongs to the stepmom which is a very creepy old house where you know everybody in town tells ghost stories about it and um when he moves there he finds this doorway to this realm of monsters and it is really cool i really enjoyed it if you're looking for cool spooky middle grades these two series might be for you let's move on to some ya books because there is many in this list the first one is not even bones by rebecca sheffer the second book um it is called only ashes remain which is the second book on the series of the market of monsters and I really love this book so much that I really want to continue with the series. The second book came out in September 2019 and I do want to get the same hard copy edition so that they match, you know, and because I really enjoy the first one, I feel positive that I want to spend my money on the physical book, um, but it's still very expensive. It's like 19 euros, so I'm just waiting to see if it goes down a little bit to grab it. But before the end of the year, I definitely want to read that book because I really, really loved this first book. Moving on with The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I read The Cruel Prince like last year and I really loved it. It is nothing too special, but there is something about it that makes it so enjoyable. Like I laughed, it was cute, it was interesting, and I don't know, it just grabbed me. And so I am hoping to read the second book at the beginning of 2020. It was on my TBR pile for January. I'm not sure when this video is gonna come up, but hopefully by the time you see this, I've already read The Wicked King. And so then I will only have the third book to read in 2020 to complete the trilogy. Next, we move on with this book here. So this is Children of Blood and Bone. The second book is Children of Virtue and Vengeance. And I have heard mixed reviews about the second book already, but I still want to give it a try because this is another of the YA fantasies that has really hooked me up and that I was really interested in. It's about this girl that lives in a world where magic has been banned and she's kind, kind of trying to get magic back because she's the only one that can do that and she goes into this adventure and it was just so entertaining to me. I really loved this book and even though it was chunky, I just kept reading and reading because I was so interested in the story. So I would really like to check book two. 
Next, The Merciless by Danielle Vega. So I read this one, enjoyed it. I kind of was expecting a little bit more. For me, there was some uh, character development missing, but because this was the first book in the series, I said to myself, I'm willing to give the rest of the series a try. So I do want to keep reading it and I'm hoping to get at least to book two this year. Next, we have in an Absent Dream by Shannon Maguire. This is book four on the Wayward Children series. The first one was called Every Heart a Doorway and I absolutely loved it. So I have been collecting the books and I still need to read book four and book five came out in January as well. So yeah, I wanna continue the series this year and these are fairly short books, around 200 pages. So this one should be doable. Moving on with some sci-fi, we have Immunity by Erin Bowman and this is book two after Contagion, which I really enjoyed. It's kind of like a mix of horror and sci-fi and we are in a futuristic universe in which we have a virus that has to start spreading and you know if you get the virus you basically die um and so yeah i really love the first book and i do own a copy of the second one so i'm really excited to give it a try next we have vengeful by v schwab so i read vicious and absolutely freaking loved it and i bought vengeful in the same beautiful edition <laughs> And I never read it. It was on my TBR pile for 2019 and I never read it. And it's really embarrassing because I love the first one so much and I really like V Schwab. So I really should get to it this year. Next we have another one that I'm embarrassed about and that is A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs. I am a huge lover of the original trilogy that came first. And then it was announced that there was another book that was going to come out and it ended up being a direct sequel which I was really excited for because I wanted to follow the same characters and I went to England and I went to Waterstones and they had this exclusive edition and I grabbed it and I was so excited and I wanted to read it right away and that was in 2018 I think <laughs> so and the fifth book is already coming out also or is already out in January 2020 and I feel the pressure of finally getting to this book. It's one of those books that you know you're gonna love it but you kind of keep pushing it forward. <laughs> I don't know if it's fear or just because I don't want it to end but since there's another one coming out now I have no excuse um, and I really want to get to it. We have three more series to go. The first one is Trial by Fire by um, Josephine Angelini. So this is a trilogy actually and I read this one in a read-along that was hosted in Twitter and I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. It is a really good fantasy book and then I never got to the second book. So I've, I've ordered the second book. I just did it this morning because I figured I have to push myself a little bit to get to it and I found a second hand copy for four euros or something like that so I ordered that one um, so that I can keep reading this story because I really enjoyed it. Next we have Ransacker by Amy Laiborn and this is the follow-up to um, uh, Berserker and it's a book that I really enjoyed because it is a YA fantasy in which we follow kids with superpowers they all belong to the same family but it is kind of like a western and it was bloody so it was different from the typical story of kids with superpowers in the YA business and I really loved it because of that and it had amazing atmosphere so if you're looking for something different this might be for you and the second book came out and I grabbed a copy but I still have not read it but I need to get to it in 2020. And the last one is Layer of Dreams by Liva Bray. I finally read The Diviners in 2019 and it became one of my favorite books of the year because it just had so many things that I love in just one book and this book series it's chunky proof <laughs> and it was just a book that I flew through because it was just so entertaining and I was loving the story and the characters and I just wanted more and more and it's a book based on the 1920s we're following Evie she has a special gift she if she touches an object she can see things um, related to that person in that object and she is helping her uncle with an investigation to try to, to um, uh, capture the uh, pentagram killer 
and it's just so entertaining and I love it that it's in the 1920s because it's also kind of like a time period I normally don't read books about and I'm really excited about it but they're kind of like chunky books this is also another 600 pages nearly book um, but like I said you go through them so fast because it's so interesting and I really want to get to this one as well in 2020 so if I'm being realistic I'm probably not gonna get to all of these books but it's some of them that I really want to try to push for 2020 because those are series, duologies, trilogies that I'm already kind of invested in so it would be nicer if I follow the story as soon as possible so that I can still have some memories of everything that happened in the first books which are some book series that you really need to keep reading in 2020 let me know down below thanks so much for watching you guys please give the video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and remember to hit the notification bell if you want to follow me in other social media i have goodreads instagram twitter and facebook the links to those can be found in the description box down below and i hope to see you all in the next coffee time bye